The question three, Mr. Speaker. Minister Graham Stewart. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Helping uh, SMEs export is a high priority for DIT through our overseas network, online services on great. .gov.uk, which has had more than 3 million visitors already, and our international trade advisers as well as export finance. Last year, Mr Speaker, 79% of companies supported by UK export finance were SMEs. And if, like Roger Federer, Mr Speaker, I can press on, I'd say exports also from the West Midlands increased in value by more than 80% between 2010 and 2016, albeit, Mr Speaker, I admit, without the same grace. The Minister knows which buttons to press. <laughs> Mr. Pawsey. News about the West Midlands, but a constituent of mine who's got a small business providing services around the world uh, came to see me to tell me about the challenges he faces in getting appropriate banking facilities uh, and the need to minimise losses on currency transfers. So, what steps is the Minister's Department taking to make sure that UK banks provide the facilities, the support, and the advice that SMEs need in order to export? Thank you, Mr Speaker. As my honourable friend will know from running a business himself and as I do from my experience, uh, it is a challenge and this is work in progress. But we have established strategic relationships with the five leading UK banks and UK Export Finance launched a partnership with these banks in October 2017 to help not only exporters but those who supply exporters easily to access government-backed finance.